Hey folks, welcome back. We're still here at Embedded World in Nuremberg, Germany. We're looking at all the hottest new tech, new devices, and new embedded solutions here all week. I'm Ken Briotta with Embedded Computing Design, and I'm here with Peter Foy of GigaDevice. And we are going to talk first about your brand new product, the F527. Tell me a little bit about it and, and how it works. So the F25, F527 is our brand new product. It's slated for the safety and security market. So on the safety side, we support IEC 65501, and it supports SIL level two. So to, for safety, uh, we have uh, memory protection in it. So uh, for flash and uh, RAM, we have uh, security set up in there. And then on the uh, other side, we have uh, ECC support for, for the flash and the RAM inside the device. Uh, as far as uh, we have a unique OTA update feature in the device as well. Awesome. So it has 7.5 meg of flash integrated into the device. Awesome. So you have two meg of code space available in the device. And then also you have another 5.5 meg of data storage flash. So we have this unique uh, architecture so you can do uh, an immediate over the air update. Okay. So with, the, uh, with, with this feature inside the device, you have again security in it and then uh, also, also uh, cost reduction. So since you don't have to put an external flash device uh, along with the F527, you can save uh, bill of material cost. Uh, so that's a unique feature there. And then back to the over the air update, we have uh, a read while write architecture. So you can have your initial application running and still do your, uh, your download, your backup. After you do a signature verification of your new application code, you can immediately do an AV swap instantaneously. The address remains the same with a one bit change in a register. So then you can start running your code from there. So it's immediate over the air update. So those are two unique features in that product line. That's awesome. OTA is so important. Everybody wants it. It helps for extending life out. Now, you can't keep secrets from me. I know you guys just recently announced some interesting entry line stuff and uh, some new low power uh, devices. I got to hear about those. Sure. So we have the L233 device family. Yep. That's unique in the fact that it's uh, targeted towards battery applications. And the way we support battery applications is that we have 10 power uh, in different power states that you can put the machine in. Yep. So uh, again, it's targeted towards battery applications for IoT and, and, and for uh, other industrial embedded applications. On the low end, we have our L230, L230, I mean, excuse me, E230, right. E235 uh, base devices. And those are, are targeted at eight and 16 bit machine replacements, so or MCU replacements. So uh, we can get really cost effective uh, for those low end applications there as well. So in the mid-tier uh, series, we have the uh, 503 series. Mm -hmm. So it's unique in that we also support ECC uh, for uh, flash and RAM on that, the, the 503 as well. And then on all of our devices, the GD32 line of MCUs, we support five volt tolerance. Okay. So uh, along with that, we have VCC at five volts for the 503 as well. If, and all these devices that I just talked about on the low end have a Cortex M33 in it, which is a successor to the M0 Plus. Right. So you get a little more performance here. And then the F527 and the 503 have the Cortex M33 in it. Gotcha. Sticking with the MCUs, can you talk about some of the non-ARM uh, options that you guys have available? Sure, so uh, we all support uh, RISC-V. Yeah. So uh, we had an inaugural RISC-V device back in 2019. So we've been doing that. It was the, actually the world's first RISC-V based machine. Uh, so that was introduced in 2019. As of last year, we have the VW553. Awesome. So the VW553 integrates uh, a VLE 5.2 radio in it, as well it, it integrates a Wi-Fi 6 radio in it. So 802.11.8x. And we support Matter on that platform as well. So Matter is a new IoT platform. So for eco, ecosystem support for Amazon, Google, you know, uh, Microsoft, all three, we, we have that support as well. Yeah, Matter's a really interesting uh, uh, standard. Thank you so much, Peter. Really appreciate your time. Folks, we are here at Embedded World all week in Nuremberg, in Germany. I've been Ken Briotta with Embedded Computing Design. Don't stop watching. There's lots more to come. <laughs>